Gun control is here. It's not something that's coming in six months or eight months. It's already passed the house and they are already going to restrict your guns. I'm Andrew Esquire and this is The Legal Mindset where we help you gain an unfair advantage. HR8, the bipartisan background check act of 2021 passed the house. Now, this is the first step in what will be many steps in a attack on the second amendment, an attack on gun rights. And those attacks are going to come from tons of angles. And because they're sophisticated attacks, those attacks on the second amendment are very, very planned. We're going to take this step by step. We're going to break down each bill exactly to show you how it threatens your second amendment rights. So let's look at the quote unquote bipartisan background check bill HR eight. Now what HR eight does at its fundamental core is simple. What it says is that there has to be a background check when firearms are transferred between private parties. And in order to perform that background check, private parties have to surrender, give up their firearms to manufacturers, sellers, or importers in order to perform that transfer. So let's take that a little bit legal, boring language and think about what that means in reality, what that means for average, everyday people on Main Street trying to deal with their guns. Now, what this means is that let's say I owned a gun. I had a hunting rifle and I used it for deer hunting. And I have my friend Jimbo. He lives down the street and he loves deer hunting. He loves it a lot. And I'm thinking of buying a new gun. So I'm thinking I'll give Jimbo my old gun. I'll give him the old one. It still works. It's trusty. It's clean, well-maintained. I'll sell it to him for 300 bucks. Well, if I know Jimbo, I know he's not a criminal. I know there's no other issues with him. Right now, there's no problem with me as a person who owns that gun selling it to Jim. But under HR8, under this bill, we would need to find a seller or a licensed firearm dealer to hold the gun, perform the background check, and then pass that on to Jim. And you better bet they would probably charge a fee for that service. They've got to store it. They've got liability. They've got time. They've got effort. They're definitely going to charge a fee for that service, something that isn't currently charged if it's between myself and Jimbo. Now, some liberals will say that this is closing a loophole, specifically the gun show loophole. Well, to be clear, the gun show loophole doesn't really exist. What exists right now is the ability for private parties to deal with their property, how they want to deal with it. Look, if I have a car right now, I have the right to sell my car to somebody else. It doesn't matter that a car is extremely dangerous. And in fact, in many acts of domestic terrorism, cars are used. In fact, in the most recent attack on the Capitol, a car was used to unfortunately strike a police officer by an anti-cop member, a member who was seeking to take out a cop with that car, not with a gun. But in this case, firearms would be treated much differently than cars or any other type of property. You'd have to go that extra step to get your background check between that. And let's be clear, does this actually make it safer? Well, arguably, no, because right now under the law, you're not allowed to transfer a gun to somebody who isn't allowed to have a gun. So if someone is a criminal, a felon, or has any other issue that would prevent them from owning a gun as an individual, you cannot sell your gun to them. That's already illegal. 
The background check is just adding an extra step, an extra layer, an extra barrier to allowing people to exchange what they own. And that's a sly way that the Second Amendment is being infringed upon. And importantly, this law would make criminals out of people that are really just ordinary people, law-abiding citizens that legally purchased guns would become criminals simply for giving a gun to their brother, to their son, to somebody in their family or a friend. That's just unreasonable. But because these laws, especially these Second Amendment infringing laws, are so strict and so insane, so divorced from previous law and from pure logic, you have to stay on top of them. And if you want to stay on top of the law and really be there, check out my playlist, Urgent Laws.